It's real easy. All you got to do is order uh, silver nitrate. It's a powder. You can order silver nitrate powder. Then you have to order sodium thiosulfate powder. It's also known as hyd uh, anhydrous. All right, so you need the two dry powders. Then you need distilled water. I definitely recommend distilled water. You need a scale that'll weigh uh, to the point zero one, because uh, I'd rather, yeah, to the point zero one, you need two points, a decimal and the two points on your scale. Oh, excuse me for the burp, it's the kombucha. Then you need a measuring device that can weigh in milliliters. Uh, you need to weigh uh, five or measure 500 milliliters of distilled water. And then you need, uh, I use glass mason jars for this. But here's, here's how you do it. <clears throat> I'm going to see what parts of this I really need to read you and which parts I can skip. Uh, and this actually comes from Marijuana Botany by Robert Connell Clark is where I think this is pulled from. Uh, make sure you use basic safety precautions, you guys. Uh, read the safety data that's on the, the containers. They're powdered. You don't want to breathe them. They're caustic. They'll fuck your lungs up. Please wear something over your face. Wear some gloves. When you're mixing it up, if you don't wear gloves and you get this on your fingers, you'll get black marks and purple marks on your hands. It looks really weird. It's scary. Please be careful. So, uh, let's see. Uh, wear gloves. Do it in a ventilated area. Uh, when you spray it, uh, I said that when you get, if you get the stuff on your skin, it'll stain you. When you spray the stuff onto the plant, do it like in an area, you could do it right over your uh, your polyfilm, your pandafilm or something, you'll be cool. But don't do it like by the wall, by the house and the wall, because it'll turn it purple. It'll give it a purple tint. Uh, if you use your dope scale, put something down, put a dish down so that you're not throwing silver nitrate on your dope scale, and then later on you're doing fucking rails of silver nitrate on accident. Just take care of yourself, please. All right, so part A is a half a gram of silver nitrate stirred into 500 milliliters of distilled water. So half a gram of silver nitrate in 500 milliliters of distilled water. <clears throat> what I do is I take a butter knife, so I weigh it, I weigh my half a gram, and I got my water, so I fill a container with water to 500 milliliters, and then I take my half a gram and I weigh it, and then I drop that in there, and then I quickly stir it with a butter knife to make sure that it all stirs up real quick. And then I just seal it. I put a lid right on it and set it aside. I know that's part A. Part B is two and a half grams of sodium thiosulfate stirred into 500 milliliters of distilled water. Two and a half grams of sodium thiosulfate. Uh... The silver will dissolve quickly. The thiosulfate might take a minute. It'll get chunky. Riot Seeds charges like a hundred bucks for a little bit of this spray, and you can make the exact same spray that I'm talking about in 10 minutes of your time for about 20 bucks, and you can make a gallon of it, bro. You could make fucking gallons of it for like 20 bucks. Like, the... the Chemicals are like seven bucks a piece, I think. Maybe six or six. I think it was thirteen dollars for the whole order of chemicals and then the distilled water. Like it's really it's just a few minutes to do it. It's not really that's everything. I just told you basically everything. Half a gram of silver, five hundred milliliters of distilled water, two and a half grams of sodium thiosulfate, and five hundred mils of distilled water. Then the sodium the hold on, let me back up. The silver nitrate solution is then mixed into the thiosulfate solution while stirring rapidly. The resulting blend is the stock silver thiosulfate solution. So pour A into B. So you've got A, which was the silver, pour A into B, and then stir them rapidly so that they mix well together. <clears throat> ah. Then you need to dilute this. Before you, this is the stock solution. This is undiluted concentrate. This needs to be diluted, you guys. You can't spray that. You could spray this directly out of the plants. They will fucking react. Trust me. Uh, but I don't recommend going ham like that right away. Uh, dilute it to uh, 1 to 9 or 3 to 7. Somewhere in that range. So 10 to 30 percent of this to distilled water. Cut it with distilled water. So I would say start with, and you're going to have to, I would, uh, this is going far. 
use multiple plants and test your dilution rates, all right? So I think I could put the notes away. I got the hard part down. Uh, do 100 mils and 900 mils. So 100 mils of STS and 900 mils of uh, distilled water. And then do another container of 30 mils uh, or 300, I'm sorry, 300 mils of the silver thiosulfate solution and 700 of distilled water. Shake them both up, get two different plants of the same cultivar, spray them both down, coat the fuck out of them till runoff. Hit the stems also. Get the stick, the main stick, get that fucker. Move the branches and get that shit. Wear gloves while you're doing this. You don't want to get it all over your skin. Move that branch up or move the leaves up and get that middle branch. Get both plants equally until runoff. And then uh, immediately, let them dry before you take them into the flower room near other flowers. But immediately after they dry, put them into flower. If you can get them into flower, if like, you can turn the lights off right then, then do that. And then mark which one you're spraying heavy and which one you're spraying light. Mark which one is the... 10% and what are the, yeah, the 1 to 10 and write which one is the 3 to 7. Write that down on the plant and write the bottles. And then, <clears throat> you guys, I'm spilling a lot of fucking information. I hope you guys are really taking notes on this. Spray those plants every 3 days for 21 days. The plants are going to get 7 applications of silver thiosulfate. Each plant, do 2 plants like this so that you can see, does it react better to the light spray or does it react better to the heavy spray? You're going to see a difference. You will see a difference in the amount of pollen production. You'll see a, a difference in the speed of pollen production, how soon it spits out the pollen. Uh, you'll see differences. The heavy one may crumple up and get super pissed. It's fine. We're not trying to take pictures of this motherfucker. We're trying to get pollen out of it. That's all we're doing. Uh, we're, this is, we're just going for pollen out of this plant. That's all you're trying to do. You're trying to turn a girl into a boy. And if it crinkles up, that means that that chemical reaction is working for that plant, but it's also fucking working. It may destroy that plant. It may really piss it off. Uh, the other one, you may not get a reaction out of it. You may get a reaction out of it. That's why I'm saying do two different plants. That way you can see. You have something to compare. And then that way you're not wasting your time. And that way you can get pollen. And it's the same cultivar, so you can keep them in the same room. And that way you don't have any fear or problem of mixing pollen. If you do catch pollen, it's the same plant. You've got, the pollen that comes out of that will be feminized pollen of whatever cut you're using. So... Let's see if there are any other notes that I should add for you. If you have questions, now's the time to shoot them up while I'm going to read on this page right quick. What up, guys? I just did a uh, quick talk on making silver thiosulfate solution. I hope you guys are checking that out. The sodium sulfate is 2.5 grams to how many mil? 500. Uh, both water, both things are 500 milliliters of water. What up, Elevate? Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out in my live feed. Uh, I'm not sure who's running the feed, but it's good to see you. It's probably Mike. It could be Becca. Much love, much respect. could be one of the new dolls. I know you guys are hiring. Thanks for hanging out on the live feed. I just talked about making silver thiosulfate solution for reversing plants. Uh, kind of spilling some secrets here in the live feed today, but I felt generous. So I hope you guys are loving that. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep reading here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, keep them in the fridge, you guys. Keep everything refrigerated. Uh, the dry powdered chemicals, keep those refrigerated. If you're going to put them in the fridge, put them like in another container and then in the fridge so you don't have like just the bottle they come in a box they come in a bottle inside a bottle and then in a box i put that in a bag also like keep your shit like but keep everything refrigerated uh all of the chemicals the dried chemicals i don't mix ah. <laughs> i keep my a and b solution separate until it's time to use them so uh hey aldridge if you feel like that was patriotic maybe i'll talk about that I keep my A and B separate until it's time to use them. I don't mix it all up, but I make more than you guys are going to need. So any more hacks like 1 through 5 water tech, uh, man, remind me about that. But Aldridge just gave me a good idea. I usually don't pitch Patreon here on the live feed, but I just shared with you guys something that if you'd like to contribute to my Patreon, maybe this is a good opportunity. Go to patreon.com slash grow from your heart. It's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash grow from your heart. Read about how you can contribute to my Patreon campaign. I would love the support. I'm not begging, but since Aldridge mentioned it, maybe that was a good idea since that was a pretty good talk right there. Patreon.com. Uh, check that out. Sign up for my premium Snapchat. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe a silly question, but have you personally done any breeding with Ruteralis to get the auto... No, I don't fuck with autoflower. Uh, that's something that I'm not into is autoflower. But you guys, keep the dry chemicals cool is what I was saying. Keep, 
keep your uh, your jar of silver thiosulfate solution dark and cold. I put it in a brown paper bag, and I stick it in the back of the fridge. I label it with the date and shit so that I know what I've got. You guys want me to go get it? Just stay right here. Wait, it'll take me fucking ten seconds. Hold on. Silver nitrate. We have got sodium thiol sulfate. And this shit is super cheap, you guys. It's so cheap. I ended up with fucking two containers of everything. Just because it's dirty cheap. The name of the company is not on this box. United Nuclear is where I get this stuff, you guys. And it's just www.unitednuclear.com. It's probably backwards to you. Let's see, where is the website on here? I can't get it. It's small, so it's hard to... United Nuclear is where you can get these. And they're cheap. Silver nitrate. That's all it is. Powdered silver nitrate. I bought 10 grams. And you use half a gram at a time of this shit. And sodium thiosulfate. They sell it in 2 ounces, which is... They sell it a 57 gram container. And use 2.5 grams at a time. I think it was like, I want to say 13 or 17 bucks for everything in here. So, all the only other ingredient you need is distilled water. Yes, there you go. Thanks, Juan. So that's the uh, the dried chemicals. I keep those in the back of the in the back of a fridge. They're in that box. They're not going to get fucked with, and I'm, I know what's in there, so I'm not going to eat it or nothing. Then this is mixed because I may or may not have been tinkering with some. <laughs> Pollen, but we got our we got our mix here. It looks like science and shit. It's all cold. It's A and B. I know the part says A right there. It was A. I poured it all into one jar. And that's just kept in here to keep the fridge light off of it. That's basically it, you guys. Silver thiosulfate. That's the concentrated solution right there. Uh, and you can tell that's kind of a freshy jar. So uh, that jar will get poured into, I've got a spray bottle that actually came from Uline, and it's got uh, milliliters marked up the side of it. So I know how much I just pour in somewhere between one and 300 mils of that, and then I top the rest of it off with distilled water. I give it a good shake to make sure it's all fucking shook up in there. Spray the fuck out of the plant, put that plant in flour, repeat that process every... Uh, three days for 21 days, the plant gets a total of seven sprays. Now, if it's a, that's a general guideline. That's like telling me girls like it when you pick them up, take them to a movie, take them for food, touch their butt, tell them they're pretty. That's a general line line, guideline. It mostly works. You have to adjust. Some girls want pizza. Some girls want tacos. You're gonna have to adjust this over thiosulfate application just like you have to adjust to your girlfriend. Okay. You may need to go harder, you may need to go softer, you may need to go longer, you may need to go shorter. You may need harder dilutions, you may need softer dilutions, you may need more applications, you may need less. Your plant will tell you the only way to figure that out is to do it and try it. It's the only way you can figure it out. <clears throat> Most of the time, Mel said both. Mel wants pizza tacos and go harder and softer at the same time. But, and pull her hair a little, and spit on it. We talked about that earlier. Mel said stop. It's been too long, huh, Mel? <clears throat> just, get, just getting home from your vacation. <clears throat> but uh, some of the plants are going to want more spray. Some are going to want less. Uh, the golden goat plant, if you were going to try to work with golden goat, I shouldn't even tell you this because I fucks with the golden goat a lot. I don't want you guys stepping on my toes. But fuck it. Let's make seed, you guys. Let's do it. Uh, if you're fucking with the golden goat, go hard. Uh, golden goat wants a little more spray. If you don't go hard enough, then it won't reverse for you. It won't give you enough pollen, and you won't make enough reverse seeds, and you'll be bummed. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Who's going to type oh no first? Who's going to get the oh no in there? I'm surprised nobody typed it. <clears throat> you do the same on only a node or two isolated with the bag correct instead of the whole plant. You can, yes, but I'm not certain how much of the plant it's going to affect. You could, yeah, you could probably isolate a couple of branches, spray those, mark them, make sure you don't get the rest of the plant. I would just kind of take it in a room with no wind 
and just pull that branch down and just spray the fuck out of that branch and just hang on to it for a few minutes until it dries and then just let it kind of go back and mark it and then just treat that one branch. It's not going to take as much, uh, as many applications. I'm trying to word this so I don't sound like a fifth grader. It's not going to take as many applications of a single branch as it would the whole plant because you're not trying to reverse the fucking genetics of the entire, the, the genes in the whole plant. You're just trying to reverse the sex of the fucking one part. So it'll be a little, you can be more gentle with that probably. And then you can just take that one and just tap it over like that. Just smack it over on another bud and you'll fucking pollinate that bud like that and you'll have made feminized seeds on whatever other branch you touch.